You wanted the best, but you got the best. The hottest band in the world. What's up? Smack em a gob. It's time for King Dinosaur. Track by track album battle where he wants me to put Led Zeppelin's physical graffiti versus We Sold Our Souls for Rock and Roll by Black Sabbath. <clears throat> now, when I initially saw this, <clears throat> I thought, dude, I, Black Sabbath in the sense of my favorite band, but physical graffiti is like, god damn, like the greatest Led Zeppelin album in my world. And I'm thinking, man, this ain't fair. The same fair, Led Zeppelin's gonna kick its ass. <clears throat> so here we go. Will it kick its ass? In my world, I'm not talking for you. I'm saying, will Led Zeppelin's physical graffiti kick? We sold our souls for rock and roll from Black Sabbath's ass because that's what I was thinking before I started this. But then I wrote the tracks down, and this is the outcome. First song. Custard Pie versus the song Black Sabbath. Love them both, but you know what, man? I think the song Black Sabbath is way better. I just think it's so... Well, shit, it's historic. It's what started heavy metal, fuck blue cheer. And uh, so, I'm giving it to Black Sabbath, man. All right, the next song, The Rover versus The Wizard. You know, this one's kind of easy for me. The Rover. The Rover is one of the greatest Led Zeppelin songs. It's pretty much better than The Wizard, in my opinion. Another one for Zeppelin. All right, next. In My Time of Dying versus Warning. I love them both, but I got to go with Warning. Warning is my favorite song off of the first Black Sabbath album. It's such an awesome tune that it wins. All right, next. Houses of the Holy versus Paranoid. Another one for Zeppelin, man. Houses of the Holy, man. Paranoid's cool and all. I'm not burnt out like most of you are. A little, okay, all right, a little bit. But even if I wasn't burnt out on it, Houses of the Holy, I love the hell out of that song. Next. Trampled Underfoot versus War Pigs. This is really simple for me. And it's a song I will never get burnt out on. Ever. War Pigs. Which I think now, I used to think Electric Funeral was the best song on the album. But no, man. I was thinking, well, I can't say War Pigs is too popular. And then, you know, then my mind is like, yeah, but Children of the Grave is your favorite Black Sabbath song, and that's popular too. And I'm like, you know, you're right. War Pigs is better than Electric Funeral. And it's better than Trampled Underfoot. That's right. All right, next. Cashmere versus Iron Man. I love them both, but easily Cashmere. Easily Cashmere. I love Iron Man. I'm not burnt out on that one either. I love the clunky drums on it. Bill Ward does where it sounds like a robot walking down the road with those killer iconic riffs and Ozzy's awesome voice in that solo where Geezer and Tony are going off. And then when it starts hauling ass toward the end, Iron Man fucking rules. But Cashmere, man, gotta go with Cashmere. Yeah, you know. Cashmere, I dedicate that to everybody out there that says Led Zeppelin stole their music. Yeah, they stole some of it, but they also came up with Cashmere. No song was even close to that when they did that song. Then you had a couple really excellent songs that it gave birth to, like Gates of Babylon from Rainbow. Come on, Cashmere is fucking godly. I'm giving it to Cashmere. All right, next. In the Light versus Wicked World. All right. This is kind of tough. I ain't going to lie. It was kind of. But then in the end, I was like, nah, you know what? No. In the Light wins, man. 
in the light, that fucking intro with the keyboards and that killer mid-tempo rocking part, man. Then the end, you know, in the light. Fucking gorgeous song. I'm giving it to Led Zeppelin. All right, next. Bonyard versus Tomorrow's Dream. Now, this one is... It's unbelievable that I'm going to go. I thought about it, but I'm going with Bonyard. Tomorrow's... And believe me, I love Tomorrow's Dream. But you know what? While I was writing down the songs, I was like, you know, I want to listen to Bonyard now. And I put it on, I'm like, dude... That, I like it more than Tomorrow's Dream. It's just two minutes of killer, beautiful acoustics. That sounds like the production to me is timeless. It doesn't sound dated at all. Sounded like it could have been recorded today. Unbelievable. But then again, it's understandable because Led Zeppelin sold their soul to the devil. Where Black Sabbath sold their soul to rock and roll. All right, so I'm giving that to In the Light. It's just wins. No, I'm sorry. Um, Bonyar. Uh, next. Down by the Seaside versus Fairies Wear Boots. You know what? 20 years ago, I would have said Fairies Wear Boots. But no song in the whole Led Zeppelin catalog has grown on me more than Down by the Seaside. I just think that is such a gorgeous, beautiful song. And then when it picks up, just amazing. And I love Fairies Wear Boots, but no, I'm giving that to Zeppelin. All right, next. Ten Years Gone versus Changes. I don't hate Changes. I, in fact, I love Changes. But Ten Years Gone, I love more. I'm giving that to Ten Years Gone. What a great, amazing song. Doesn't even seem that long. It's a long ass song, but it doesn't seem that long because it's so good. All right, then after that, we got Night Flight versus Sweet Leaf. This one's a little difficult, I gotta say. And it's amazing to me that Night Flight is not a radio staple. It's got all the elements to be on the radio along with Whole Lot of Love, Good Times, Bad Times, Stairway to Heaven. Night Flight should be on that rotation. Because it's got that hook. It's awesome. But Sweet Leaf is better, man. Fuck that. I'm giving that to Sabbath. What Bill Ward does. Listen to Bill Ward, man. While uh, Tony Iommi goes into the guitar solo. Tell me, man. How the fuck that guy cannot be the greatest drummer in the world? Well, according to me. In my world. Bill Ward is the greatest drummer ever. But I gotta go with Sweet Leaf, man. Yeah, anyway, uh, next. The Wanton Song versus Children of the Grave. Man, one after the other, I would have to say the Wanton Song is the best song on this whole album. And believe me, this album is chock full of killer shit like the Rover, In My Time of Dying, Cashmere. To me, my favorite song has always been the Wanton Song. But it's going against the greatest song from my favorite band, Children of the Grave. I gotta give it to Children of the Grave. I think it's a better song. That's how badass Black Sabbath is. Yeah, you thought, I thought Physical Graffiti was gonna kick its ass. Doesn't look like it, does it? All right, but yeah, it's putting up a hell of a fight, right? All right, so we got a... Uh, that out of the way. Then we got Boogie with Stu versus Sabbath Bloody Sabbath. You know, this is not a popular opinion. I know. I understand. But what I'm about to say is how I feel. Led Zeppelin, Physical Graffiti. First of all, I love every song on the album. But my three least favorite songs on the Led Zeppelin, Physical Graffiti are the last three songs. I don't think these three songs are anything that came out before it, but they're still awesome songs, okay? Boogie with Stu versus Sabbath Bloody Sabbath. No way, Sabbath Bloody Sabbath all the way, man. All right, next. Black Country Woman versus Am I Going Insane Radio. Now, 
I'm gonna go with Am I Going Insane? And let me explain why. Black Sabbath, We Sold Our Souls for Rock and Roll was the first Black Sabbath album I bought with my money. Before that, I did, my brother owned Paranoid. I heard that. But this was my first Black Sabbath album. And every time it would get to Am I Going Insane Radio, either I fucking cringed or I lifted the needle. Or, you know, or the CD. I'd skip it, you know? So I would have definitely picked Black Country Woman back then. But not now. I love the song. Boy, did it grow on me like a fungus. Do I think it's the best song on Sabotage? No, no. It's kind of like low on the list of the best songs on Sabotage. But I love it now. And it wins, okay? I put it above Black Country Woman. All right, now King Dinosaur asked me to take out Laguna Sunrise, which fucking rules and would have won against Sick Again, and replace it with Snowblind. Now, it still leaves off the track, NIB, but uh, whatever. Snowblind versus Sick Again? Not even close. Snowblind, man. And even if NIB could have fit there, it's NIB over Sick Again, too. And I do love Sick Again, but those Sabbath songs I like more. So King Dinosaur, this is the final score. Yeah, Sabbath won. Well, by, you know, by a point, but it's still won. Where I thought Physical Graffiti was going to wipe the floor with it. What the hell do I know? But anyway, King Dinosaur, thank you so much, my friend. You rule, man. And everybody else, thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments below. You know, physical graffiti versus we sold our souls for rock and roll. I surprised myself by doing this. I was like, damn, Sabbath won? Crazy, right? And uh, so anyway, yeah, thank you again. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And ring that little notification bell. And like the video. It's good for the YouTube algorithms. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath. And smack him a gob.